it is the setup. Two sea stars mounted on a bar. The bar's movable, so I can have it going north, south, east, west. Each one is adjustable with the adjustable tripod mount so I can get them level. And the idea being that for the amount of clear skies we get over in the UK, especially now in the winter, there's not very many. So for every hour I get taking images now, I will have two hours of data. If I put them both on one object, then I'll get two hours data for one hour. Whereas with one, if you did it for two hours, it would be not too good. Or I can take different objects with each and finish up with twice the data at the end of the evening. So, either way, I should get a bit more to work with with two. So, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully tonight might be the first one we've had a chance to do anything, so fingers crossed it stays a bit clear. It did turn out to be a clear night last night, so we managed to get some imaging in absolutely freezing but it was a nice clear night so I had to make the most of it so well, before I go on I'd just like to say I've only been doing this nine months and the reason I got into it in the first place I just stumbled across uh, a guy Keeve the Lazy Geek who is out in Tokyo then and he's got a ton of videos on astrophotography Stumbled across one, his enthusiasm and passion for the hobby is second to none, and that got me hooked on it. So I've put a link in the description to his website, his uh, YouTube channel. Um, thanks, Keith. Uh, nine months and three grand later. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's how I got into it. And so last night I did the Orion Nebula and the crab nebula the orion one was brilliant but it was easy to get the crab one not so good um that didn't turn out brilliant um the um uh, orion one um, there's the image up now um that's each one each telescope there 30 minutes of imaging on each um and they're straight out of the telescope into the form I mean, they're phenomenal just without touching them. They're just brilliant. Um, and then this is the one I, I took all 360 uh, stack files and then processed it in Cyril and Photoshop. Um, so you can see the result of that. Um, and then I also did one stack myself of just from one telescope 180 10 second files so that's the image there now uh, again Cyril and Photoshop so then we get to the Crab Nebula so again as you can see not brilliant uh, but it is what it is next time I'll probably do a lot more imaging on that one uh, and then again couldn't do a lot with it in uh, Photoshop, so that's a bit of a disaster. Overall, though, I love the I love the telescopes; they're brilliant. And if you've never done anything like this before, literally in five minutes you're taking photos of nebula and galaxies. It's so easy to use. So, as I say, if you're interested, just check out one or two more videos on it. Uh, Keeve's got a couple of great ones on. And uh, I'm sure you'll get as enthused as I did when once you see those images in, appearing on your phone, because they come on bit by bit as it stacks more images up. Uh, it is a phenomenal piece of equipment. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you've got this far, <laughs> not bored you to death.